guys, I am Amy H2 and today I'm bringing you a new vlog. Today's vlog is an away match at Oxford United. Um, uh, we've got a new uh, manager f until the end of the season. You all know him, Nick Dawes and uh, Ad Andy Dawson have took over. Um, I'm quite confident with these two. Uh, last year when Mark Robbins got sacked just before Alexander did get put in his Scunthorpe manager, they did take us on a good run. I think. This is a crucial point of the season where we need to pick up points to... Uh, secure our place in the playoff spot and hopefully go on a good little run. I know we've got the players to do it and hopefully with Nick Dawson in charge maybe we're going to see uh, the likes of uh, Jordan Clark in right back, Conor Townsend in left back, Wallace and Burgess in the middle but it's probably going to be Wallace and Mikado or they might just keep it the same with a different with different tactics. I'm not too sure. Um, my score prediction today is going to be 2-1 Scunthorpe United. I feel like we're going to get the job done today. I know these guys have it in them to uh, get us the three points today and uh, keep us uh, in this playoff spot. And I think the goal scorers today is going to be one for Murray Wallace, one for Hopper, but I do think they will go 1-0 up. They're uh, just getting things in shape and a bit new to the uh, season. But yeah, I am looking forward to these in charge and I'm looking for the new uh, new challenge at the end of the season for whoever comes in charge. I know they've got a couple of managers on the uh, name of the team, but I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna just. It's about two hours from kickoff, if you can see behind me. That's the ground. Uh, we stay in a hotel tonight. We're not too far away from the ground, and uh, yeah, we're not. Uh, about two hours, an hour and a half kickoff, and uh, yeah, hopefully we're gonna get the job done today. I know we need it. We really, really need points today. And uh, yeah, if we can hit twenty five likes on this video, that'll be great. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when we're in the ground. Saved it and then uh, Tony got the rebound to score it. So it's 1 0 Scunny, first 11 minutes. A lot better. We actually playing a four back. We've got Townsend in left back, uh, Clark in right back, and then we've got uh, Wallace and uh, Ricardo in centre back. So yeah, a lot of improvements today. And yeah, 1 0 up already. Come on, Iron. 22 minutes in, and uh, it's currently 1 0 towards it. We've got a corner now. Uh, well handed by uh, the keeper. It's way better. We're attacking good football. Uh, Townsend and uh, Morris are playing really well together. Uh, yeah, it's improvements from Scunny and I always enjoy when Nick Dawson is in charge because I always see a different change in football. And uh, I think if Dawson was to get us up, I'd keep it permanent. But I'm not too sure what's going to happen, but yeah. We've had a load of shots, good keeper, good keeper, but yeah, way, way improvements, a lot better improvements from uh, a couple of weeks. Ooh, and, uh, I'm sad to see Alexander go, but we've got to move on and uh, Dawson's doing a good job. Going over to outside the box. Just at the post, he's all talking. Oh, it bounced on the out, it kind of hit the inside, but still came out. It should have been 2 0 then, but yeah, way better. 44 minutes, we've got a corner. It's not out. Oh! Clark can lead it back to Wallace, well, it's just a tip wide of the post, but yeah, 44 minutes in and we're almost half time. Moisture won in 1 0, and uh, yeah, interesting game. Um, Oxford have been a 4 0 game, I think Oxford could say they have. Uh, it's going to have been all over him. We've had numerous shots, numerous run down the wings, numerous crossings. Defenders have done all right with it. Their number 60 looks a bit tired, but yeah. Uh, Townsend's looking good. Dwayne's is looking good. Uh, Tony's looking good. Most of the team's looking good, really. Um, I think Clark Gilks has had one thing to do, and it was a good save near the start. But yeah, uh, good half from Scunny, and I'll be back with you at our time. off now, uh, I forgot to do my half time bit so I'd probably do it now, but yeah, um, improvements like I've repeated several times in this video, it's a lot better play, um, increased pressure on the defence and then just 
nice one-two passes all the time and good crosses in. Like Akeem and Dwayne Holmes, just all the team are outstanding today. But whatever Nick Dawes has done, it's improvements. And if we can keep this up at the end of the season, we can be competing for the playoff spot and maybe winning it. And if we got to the championship, I think it would be great for the club. Whether it will happen, I don't know, but I've got full confidence in Nick Dawes to take us all the way. But yeah, first half for Nick Dawes, brilliant play. Come on, Iron, let's get some more. We've got a corner now in 51st minute. Hopefully we can make it 2-0. Uh, we haven't come out as strong as the last game. Ricardo, uh, I thought that should have been a penalty then. Ivan Tenner were getting grabbed and then Mikado had to whip it back in and absolutely messed it up and it's gone out for a goal kick to Oxford. Not much really has happened in the first seven minutes, but uh, yeah. 54 minutes would give away the softest penalty that will ever, ever happen. I don't believe that was a penalty, but let's give it. So um, yeah, we could go 1 1 here. The only card for Wallace, I think, but it's a soft penalty, that. What do you think, that? What? Soft penalty or what? Yeah. Come on, Gilks, let's save it from the spot, please. We're being save it. Number 17, James Henry. Nick it is. Come on. Not out of it yet. Not out of it yet. One well, one. James Henry down middle. 80th minute now, and we have turned off a lot. Not as uh, lively as we were first half. Um, if anything, we could end up losing this game. Oxford have been on top most of the second half. We're just not being as good as we was first half. Uh, a lot of players are tired. Akeem looks like he needs to go off. He's a bit shattered. Uh, just sloppy play at the minute, and uh, we gave away a sloppy shock penalty. It seemed, and uh, yeah, it's one one in. Keep that ball now. Whip it in. Thank you. That's your box. Go on. Go on. Nah, 81 minutes and it's still one more. three and a half hour drive home. Um, time to think about the game. I was a little bit disappointed with the result, but um, nothing we can do. We have to take it. It's a point away from Oxford, who are near the bottom and uh, needing to stay up. Only six points to relegation. At the first half, I thought it could have been four or five nil. I think everyone can agree with that, but then uh, Oxford came out stronger. Both teams had new managers. I guess things would have been different and uh, maybe we could say 1-1 one -one was a fair result. After all the game, I felt like we did enough to get the three points, but um, the boys seemed to shut off a bit. Second half, first half, we were quite dominant, should have been, like you said, 3 4 no up. Oxford kind of got a bit more into it as the game went along in the second half, and uh, yeah, we took 1 1. Um, we hit the crossbar, two goals cleared off the line, stuff like that, but yeah. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. We can hit 25 likes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, and try and get me to 300, uh, 400, I think it is. I think I'm on 380 something, but yeah, um, and I've just hit 150 followers on Twitter as well. So thank you all for the uh, support on uh, my uh, Twitter and uh, YouTube, and I'll uh, see you for the next vlog.